Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D P, and today I want to do a quick video on diagnosing common MCU errors. So let's go ahead and get started. Since I started doing Clipper videos, one of the most common questions I get is lost communication with the MCU and how to fix this error. So I just wanted to do a quick review on how I would diagnose this error and then how I would go about fixing it. And hopefully you'll find this helpful. If you have questions, please post them below in the comments. If you've watched some of my previous videos, um, I've covered how to install Clipper on both the Raspberry Pi and then also installing on an old desktop or laptop. Now, the MCU error typically occurs when you're installing the actual firmware on the motherboard of your 3D printer. So I'm assuming you have Clipper installed and running on your Raspberry Pi or your laptop or PC. And now you're looking to diagnose why isn't it working when I try to get the Raspberry Pi or a computer to talk to my printer. So let's just talk about some of the reasons why that happens. If you Google Clipper config examples, it's going to bring you over to the Clipper documentation. So what you have to realize is if you have your computer or your Pi set up correctly, you're going to need a configuration file for your printer. Now, what's awesome is you go to the configuration directory, and here's an example here. There are hundreds of examples of different config files you can use, and these include the manufacturers, the printers, as well as individual boards. In my case, I've recently done some videos on an Ender 3 V2 Neo. So let's take a quick look at that example config file. With the example configuration, I'm going to make sure to read this top section. This top section, this comment, and all the example configs will explain to me how I need to configure the Clipper firmware to install on my 3D printer. Now, as I mentioned in the past, I'm working with an Ender 3 V2 Neo. So I've opened up that example. And then let's go ahead and open up the Make menu config. And I've opened that up over here in my terminal. Let's make a couple changes here. So I'm just going to look at this top thing, make config. Let's select STM32 F103. We're going to make sure it's already selected, so that's good. I'm going to go down to the bootloader offset, which is listed here. So I want 28 KIB bootloader. So I make sure that's selected. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the communication interface and I'm going to make sure I select serial on USB on, I'm sorry, US Art 1. PA10, PA9. So we select that. And in my case, I'm going to hit Q to save, hit yes, and then this will compile and create my firmware. As I've outlined in a previous video, how to copy that from your machine over to your SD card, you're going to follow those steps. And I'll link to a video above. Now, once I flash on my machine, once I flashed it onto my printer, I'm going to go ahead and in my case, I use main sale. So I'm going to walk into main sale. So I've logged into main sale. And then I need to make sure that there's a printer.config file. In my case, I created a blank here. And the error I'm getting is serial and section MCU must be specified. Easiest thing to do. Again, pretending we're going to be using this. This example config for the Ender 3 B2 Neo. I'm going to copy everything and then paste it into my printer.config file. I'm going to hit save. And I'm still getting an error here. Now, this error I'm getting, one of the main reasons is. I don't have the serial MCU set correctly. So let's show you how to capture this information. 
I'm just going to go over to the Clipper documentation. Let's find the command. So here's the command we're interested in. This lists the MCU that's attached to the Pi or the PC. And then I'm going to go over to my command prompt. I'm going to SSH onto the Pi slash PC. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that command in. I have the MCU right there. I'm going to go over to my printer.config file and paste in that path. As you can see now, my printer is connected. Now let's just go over a couple things we can do to further check how things are working. One, the most common errors you can have is it didn't flash right onto your printer. Now, there could be several reasons. If you're using a big tree tech board, you're going to need to name the bin file that you're flashing firmware.bin. You can, once it's done flashing, you can check to make sure it flashed by looking at the file name. It should be renamed all in caps firmware.car. So you know it's successfully flashed. In the case of Creality boards, and those are the two I have, it's still going to have the same name. It's still going to be firmware.bin. Hopefully you can connect where your errors change. But the most common errors you're going to have is it's not flashed correctly. And most likely that's because you haven't taken a look at the example config and read through how it's set up. Just going back, let's look. I have a trunk C. Printer here, so I'm scrolling down. And let's see if they have an example here. Trunk C 5 SA. And so I think it's this example right here. And if I look, you can see that there's a different set of instructions here. You want to make sure you read these files, you read this code to figure out how to update things. In the case of the Tronxy, I'm not doing a .bin file. I actually have to, according to this, call it update.cbd. So you want to make sure you're reading these examples. Using these examples are key to figuring out what your problem is. And like I said, most of the time, Problems come down to not having this configuration correct, checking the wrong thing, having it on USB rather than USR. But check the config files, the examples, to make sure that you have everything set up as it's outlined. Going back to the Clipper documentation, you'll notice that there's a Clipper community on Discord. That's a great resource. Also, there's fre frequently asked questions in the documentation. And then I also found on the Voron website, common Clipper configuration errors. And these are all great examples and things you need to look at to help you figure out how to connect. Now, the last thing you can do, which is more of an advanced feature, is if I go back over here to main sale, and I'm sure it's the same in a Fluid as well. At the bottom here, I have log files for both Clipper and Moonraker. I'm going to real quickly open the log file for Clipper, and it's clippy.log. I'm going to download it. Let me get my downloads here. And I'm going to open that. I'll open with Visual Studio Code, which is my preferred editor. Once I have my log file open, what I'm going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom. Most recent updates should be at the bottom of the file. So I scroll to the bottom and then let's look and see what it's saying. So you can go ahead and read these log files and look if it's talking about any specific errors. Now I can also do the same with the Moonraker log file. So I'm back over to the browser. 
I can download the Moon Raker log and open that in Visual Studio Code as well. And again, you're going to scroll down the bottom and look and see what kind of errors it's giving you and what it's telling you. So your last tool in your arsenal is to take a look at these log files and read through them and see what it's telling you. Now keep in mind, if you decide to post on Discord, or you decide to post on Reddit, or some of the other help sites, make sure you include a copy of your log files. Now personally, I'd probably cut this file down a little bit, but if you're not familiar with this stuff, just put, post the whole log. Hopefully somebody will be able to tell, help you. I have my printer up and running. Everything's good to go. If you're having MCU errors, and you don't know what to do, feel free to post your error down in the comments, and I'll try to assist you as I can. Or go to get Discord or Reddit and post your questions, and let's see if we can get you some help. But if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to post them below. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I appreciate your time this evening. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you like what I'm doing, please feel free to subscribe or give me a like and share. If you have any feedback, please feel free to post that as well. I'm always open to trying to do a better job. I appreciate all your time. I hope you have a great night and happy 3D printing.